Hi! On the new build of Anime Life Sim, you can now press the F1 key to show the help menu. Here is where you can see the keys of the game. It's always a good thing to check this on any new builds, to see if there's any new keys or if any changed. For example, before, to open the player menu, you pressed the H key. Now you press the X key. On later builds, the help menu will also explain how to use many of the game's features. I've also changed some of the keys into the function keys. These are the F keys on the top of your keyboard. Pressing the F3 key will switch the cameras, such as the free camera, the game mode camera, or the first person camera. You can also press F6 to switch the game's quality while you're playing. There's the lowest quality, the average quality, and the maximum quality. On a previous build, I've added that you can press the Tab key to switch the available prompts. But now, to know when there's more prompts available, it will appear a little circle on the options. The object of the current prompt will also appear highlighted. If you want, you can turn the highlighting off on the settings. On the character edit menu, on the top right corner, you now have a option to edit character's descriptions. You can write anything you want about a character. And when you load that character, their description will appear. And I've also added a few more clothing. Well, on this new build, you can now start a new game. Here, you will be able to choose how many initial random characters you will want on the town. But since the town is not finished yet, for now you can choose how many random students will be. Every random character will only be generated now, when you press the start button. After that, every generated character will remain on that save. The new game will start at 7.25. The random students will start coming to school at 7.30. Some will come by walking, while others will come by train. On this new build, you can now go on edit mode and open the school manager. Here you can do many things, like editing the default school uniforms. Students will come on the next day wearing the uniform you made for them. You can also see which students are in which classes and remove them or add new ones. Although I might improve this menu later. You can also set the locations of student seats in their classroom. Down here, you can choose which classroom to edit. Once you set the seat to a character, they'll always go to that seat when they have a class on a classroom. Of the current default characters on the game, only I know right is a student. The others are no longer students. I don't see anime life sim as a game focused on the school. It's focused on the town and on characters' lives. On a more complete version of anime life sim, the school can be like a secondary thing. You can also edit the whole schedule of all the classrooms such as what time does each class starts or which class it is. Club time will happen after classes end. On this build I have not added the menu to edit clubs yet, but on another build it will be possible to edit or create custom school clubs. 
On the previous build, I've shown that characters have the pre-saved and automatic actions, and that the pre-saved are complete. On this new build, the free time actions are also done. Currently, it can be seen during classes break time. Students will wander around, or sit somewhere, or go to a chat spot. On these, if a character is alone, they will wait for someone else. Once there's at least one other person to talk to, they'll chat. There's a lot more I think I could improve in these chat spots. For example, it could add friendship points to the characters you're talking with, and maybe some options where you could choose what to talk about. Or for example, you could be given some choices and your friend points would increase depending on your choices. Anyway, on free time actions, the characters will go do something that better fits their personality. Characters that have a higher social will prefer the chat spot. During the break time, if the next class of a student is a gym class, they'll go get equipped and then they'll go wander near the place where they will have class. After any gym class, the students will go shower and dress their normal uniform. And at lunchtime, they'll go eat at the school cafeteria. I still need to make the animations for the gym activities. So for now, they'll just wander around. Animations take time to make, so I'll leave them for later. On this build, I've only implemented the students. I haven't added teachers yet. Every build so far has been made in 32 bits. From now on, you can now choose if you want to run the game in 32 or 64 bits. 64 bits are better because it offers more memory to the game, but it doesn't run on every computer. 32-bit games can run on both 32 and 64 operating systems, but 64-bit games can only run in 64-bit operating systems. One easy way to know if your operating system is 32 or 64 bits is simply to try to run the 64-bit executable. If it gives you an error message, don't worry, it just means that your operating system is 32 bits, and so you have to run the 32-bit executable. When I was adding the ability to run the game in 32 or 64 bits, there was something that wasn't letting it work. It was that each executable was trying to find this folder. But one of the executables couldn't find it because of its name. But I found that it works if I simply rename the folder to data. Well, one of the most important things on AnimeLifeSim is the Streaming Assets folder, where all the game files are, such as the save files, the screenshots, the saved characters, the saved actions, and so on. This folder is inside the data folder, but I think that this isn't the right location for the Streaming Assets folder, so I've changed its location to the root of the game. This month, it will be Halloween. On one of the game's menus, I've added a button that makes you play as a very scary ghost. Can you find where the button is hidden? Well, even that now there's some more characters around, there still isn't much you can do with them. I'll take a long time making all the conversations and events and all the things you can do with characters. But before that, I need to fully implement all the action types that characters can do. So next, I'll be working on the necessity actions. I've actually already made these, but they are deactivated, because they need other things. For example, if you don't eat for too long, you will pass out, and be taken to the health center. So for the next build, I'll be working on adding the health center. Bye.